Hello students and professionals. So this video was made for all of us to learn. Okay, so pag-aaralan naman natin ngayon ang mga logical connectives. Okay, so simulan natin. Statements are constructed by combining one or more proposition. So pinagko-combine natin sila gamit ang ating mga logical connectives. Tulad sa English, may pinagko-combine din tayong mga sentences para makabuo tayo ng iba pang statements. Compound propositions are formed by connecting the propositions using logical operators or logical connectives. So yun ang tawag natin sa mga pinagko-combine, yung logical operators or logical connectives. Sa English natin na subject, meron tayong iba't ibang connector like but, and, either or, neither nor, whereas, while, more so, provided that at, iba pa. Okay? So, sa uh, logic naman, meron din tayong mga logical connectors. At meron tayong lima. We have the negation, conjunction, conditional, preconditional, at disjunction. So, simulan natin kay negation. So, from the word negate, ininegate natin yung statement. So, ang symbol natin is yung yan, yung negation. Or yung ibang libro, ang gamit nilang symbol ay ito. So, yung word na gagamitin natin ay not. So, yung not na word ang magsisilbing uh, connector natin. Okay? So, the truth value of a statement implies the falsity of the statement opposite to it. Ayan. So, kung ang statement natin is true, gagawin niya siyang false. Kung yung statement naman natin is false, kung ininigate natin siya, magiging true. Okay? Let's have this. So, maging cave is in Sagada. Is this true? <laughs> is this true? Yes! Oh, kanta lang. <laughs> Yan, K-pop. Okay, so, so maging cave is in Sagada. So, that's true. Kung ininegate natin, so maging cave is not in Sagada. So, magiging false na yung statement natin. Next, Rodrigo Duterte is the vice president of the Philippines. Siya ba ang vice president ng Philippines? Hindi. So, that's false. So, kung ininegate natin, Rodrigo Duterte is not the vice president of the Philippines. So, yung truth value niya nagpalit din. Naging true na siya. 8 plus 5 is not equal to 13. Ninegate natin yan. 8 plus 5 is not not equal to 13. So, kung not not yan, mawawala yung not natin magiging 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 na siya. Okay? So, ang truth table nito is ito. If your statement A or your proposition A is true, the negation is false. Kapag false naman siya, ang negation niya ay true. Next, we have the conjunction. Ang conjunction naman, ito ang symbol na gagamitin. At yung word na gagamitin natin is end. Marami pang different conjunction, pero mag-focus muna tayo kay end. So, the only case when a conjunction is true is when both the conjuncts are true. So, dun lang siya magiging true kapag yung dalawang conjuncts ay true or yung dalawang proposition natin ay true. So, ito yung truth table niya. This is our first conjunct, second conjunct, A and B. So, sa definition natin, magiging true lang daw siya kapag both is true. Both are true. Okay? So, true, true, true. Then, otherwise, they are all false. So, let's have these examples. Baguio is the summer capital of the Philippines and Manila is the capital of the Philippines. Baguio is the summer capital of the Philippines. That would be our first conjunct or A. And Manila is the capital of the Philippines. That is our second conjunct or B. Okay? Then, that's true. Baguio is the summer capital of the Philippines. Same as B. That's still true. Manila is our capital. And true, true now. True and true is true. Next one, Filipinos are Asians and Imin Ho is a Filipino. Filipinos are Asians. 
and Lee Min Hu is a Filipino. So, ito yung ating first conjunct, second conjunct. Filipinos are Asians? Yeah, that's true. Then, Lee Min Hu is a Filipino. Is that true? That's false. So, true false, true and false, that is false. The third one is 8 minus 13 is equal to 2 and 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. Our first conjunct is false. The second conjunct is true. So, the truth value is false. The last one, 7 plus 4 is equal to 12 and 1 plus 1 is equal to 11. Yung una ulit, yung unang conjunct is false. Tapos yung pangalawang conjunct is false. So, according sa ating table, false and false, that's still false. Proceed na tayo kay disjunction. Sa disjunction naman, ito ang ating symbol. Yung kanina, inverted V. Sa disjunction naman is V. At yung word na gagamitin natin, or. Okay? So, that would be or. So, ito yung truth table niya. So, anong mapapansin ninyo, isa lang ang false. So, magiging false lang yan kapag false at false ang combination. Kapag true-false, true-false, at true-true, true-false, false-true, doon lang siya magiging true. Why? Kasi disjunction yan. Or, or statements, hindi siya dapat mag-happen at the same time. Wow, mag-happen at the same time. So, they should not happen at the same time. So, true, true, true or true, true. True or false, of course, pipiliin mo si false, true. False or true, pipiliin mo si true, true. False or false, wala kang ibang choice. Kahit ilas, uh, alin sa dalawa ang kukunin mo, false pa rin ang sagot. So the definition, the only case when a disjunction is false is when both the disjuncts are false. So tulad ng sabi natin kanina, false-false lang siya magiging false. Or tulad ng ibang estudyante ang sabi nila, basta may true, true. Doon daw yung disjunction. Sa conjunction naman, uh, sa conjunction naman, basta may false, false. Ganun sila. Okay, so the examples, 5 plus 20 is equal to 25. Or 4 minus 20 is equal to negative 16. So the first disjunct is true. The second disjunct is true. So that is true. Duterte is the president or Duterte is the vice president. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Hindi dapat sila mag-happen at the same time. So Duterte is the president of the Philippines or Duterte is the vice president of the Philippines. Dalawa lang dapat ang mangyari dito. Which is Duterte is the president of the Philippines. Yun yung true. Duterte is the vice president is false. So that is true. Third one, 8 minus 13 is equal to 2 or 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. Yung truth value ng mga to, yung first disjunct natin is false kasi 8 minus 13 is not 2. Then 2 plus 8 is equal to 10, that's true. Okay? But still, the truth value is true. And then the last one, 7 plus 4 is equal to 12, or 1 plus 1 is equal to 11. Okay? That is false. First disjunct, and then the second disjunct is still false. So, false siya. Kahit alin sa dalawa ang kukunin mo, false pa rin ang sagot. Let's go to the fourth one. Conditional. Itong conditional naman, yun yung symbol na gamit natin. Arrow head to the right. One arrow head to the right. Tapos, if, then, statement. So, ito naman yung kanyang table. So, iisa lang ulit magiging false. At yun ay, kapag ang combination ay true implies false. That's the only time na magiging false yung sagot natin. Otherwise, true na silang lahat. The definition says, the only case when a conditional is false is when the antecedent, antecedent natin is yung first uh, proposition, is true, and the consequent, the second proposition is false. Okay? So, let's have this. If it rains, then the ground is wet. Oo nga naman, umulan. So, dapat basa yung ground. So, kung true at true yan, true yun. Okay? Next one. If it rains, then the ground is wet. O umulan siya. Pero, false daw yung the ground is wet. 
posible ba na kapag umulan yung ground is hindi wet? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, posible yan guys kasi baka merong nagdilig doon. Uh, I mean, baka may may bubong yon Kaya, hindi siya wet. Yung ground. Yung ground. Okay, so, if it rains, then the ground is wet. False yung it rains. So, hindi siya umulan. Pero basa yung sahig or basa yung ground. Is that possible? Of course, possible pa rin yun. Baka may nagtapon ng tubig or ewan ko kung anong ginawa kung bakit siya naging wet. Okay? So, <laughs> so yun yun. So, that's still possible. Then, the third one, if it rains, then the ground is wet. Uh, for uh, The antecedent is false. The consequent is false. So, that is still possible. Okay? So, that is for conditional. Again, TF lang magiging false. Next one. For the biconditional, this would be our symbol. Two arrowheads to the right and left. At yung word na magagamit is if and only if. Okay? Then, we have this as our truth table. So, hati siya. Dalawang true, dalawang false. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, true, true, false, false, true siya. Kapag true, false, false, true, false siya. Para itong rule ng sign ng multiplication. Positive times positive, positive. Negative times negative, positive pa rin. Kapag magkaibang sign naman, positive, negative, negative, positive, negative yung sagot. Okay? So, that would be for the biconditional. Definition is, the only case when a biconditional is true is when both the first and second conditionals have the same truth value. So, true, true, false, false. Dapat pareho sila para maging true yung ating truth table. Next one, Basau is in Mountain Province if and only if Alab is in Mountain Province. So, Basau is in Mountain Province. Okay? So, I use that because I'm from Basau. My mother is from Basau. <laughs> yes, my mother is from Basau. And then, Alab is in Mountain Province. My father also is from Alab. So, I use that for as my example. Ayan. So, I am an Igorot. H Hello, DepEd. Hindi naman ako ganun tablak. Hindi rin naman kulot yung buhok ko, but igurot pa rin po ako. Okay, next, let's proceed. So, Busao is in Mount Province is true. Then, this is true also. So, that is true. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. If and only if, 4 plus 2 is equal to 7. Is that true? Okay, so, nung first conditional natin is true, yung second conditional natin is false. Kasi 4 plus 2 is not 7. So, that is false. Next one, 4 plus 2 is equal to 7. If and only if 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So, that is false. And then, the second the conditional is false also. Then, let's have the third one. Busao is not in Mountain Province. So, sabi natin kanina, nasa Mountain Province si Busao. So, false ito. If and only if Alab is not in Mountain Province. Ang Alab pala is uh, one of the barangays ng Bontok. Yun. Busao naman is one of the municipalities ng uh, Mountain Province. Okay, so that is false. Okay? So, the truth value is true still. Okay, so you have to memorize the different truth tables from negation, conjunction, disjunction, conditional, at by conditional. Kasi we are going to use that kapag oh, sa ating next session na pag-aaralan natin naman yung truth 